that glow. That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fireworld. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! We're all frustrated, Petra. You're not the only one ready for a break. Well, don't take it out on Lucas. Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. Uh, see? <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ugh! Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fireworld. Seems a bit flimsy. Petra, I promise you we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal, and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Please, Petra, try to be rational. Oh, now you're calling me irrational? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody calm down. I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse.
<sighs> so much for that redstone hunch. I don't see any. Well, there's got to be some somewhere. Yeah, I feel like every world's got to have redstone. Hang on, let me see here. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. Ha! Huh, a road! That means civilization. It means someone built it. I think you're right. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah! There are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh! Get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? So weird. Why isn't it on fire? Exactly what I was wondering. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. We should get a closer look, see what we can find out. Works for me. One zombie. What was the problem? Nuh-uh. That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. Maybe this world zombies are super buff? Seems possible. We had that much trouble with one. I can't even figure out how we'd fight a whole horde of them. <laughs> Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Maybe they're just peaceful? I bet they'd be even more peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? In my head! We've got to attack them before they kill us! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Oh.
They're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Well, I guess this is the advanced civilization we were looking for. It's kind of what Petra was talking about. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Okay, well then just don't wake them up. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. Uh, don't you think that looks a little dangerous? More dangerous for this zombie than for me. I think. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Told you it looked dangerous. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me either. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population 1063. Over a thousand people, not anymore from the looks of it. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? Your well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Conversation go any better up close. We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. There is something very, very wrong going on here. We need to help these people. But why? We could just find our exit portal. Leave this world behind us and pretend we never saw it. <laughs> Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Are you looking for something? Ah! That you? 
comma. What? Okay then, okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird dressed little scrub like you. Come on then, out with it. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh, what was your first clue? What was that name before? Uh, Pa Ma? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. They're, uh, distinctive looking now. Uh, sort of? I talked to a man outside. Just the one? Yeah. I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Time to go. Good plan. With you all the way. <laughs> nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. You're right. This isn't our home. Came here from someplace else. You have confirmed Palma's suspicions. A decision has been made. Palma has questions. Ah. You will come to Palma. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? We're not going anywhere with you. Yikes. I guess they're used to getting their way. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody. Too badly. Ouch! Watch it! You will be made useful. What? What happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. What is? What is that? You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking in a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Friendly or not, I think we're about to find out. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be fun. If you choose to cooperate, that is. So wait, everything here is part of you? You're controlling everything? I am making everything useful, efficient, effective. I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated, I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. A beautiful web of productivity and efficiency. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions. 
connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Hang on, hang on. I, I don't know what you're doing to Petra, but stop, okay? I'll, I'll give you more information. I am looking forward to hearing this new information. Please do not lie. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me. What is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. <laughs> if I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. Tell me, where is the portal that leads out of this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for the portal out of here too. Not that I've had much luck so far. If you find it, let us know, will you? This conversation was supposed to be about what you know, not about information I already have. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Tama, thanks you for being so helpful. Let me go! is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned. Big mistake, Pama. I'm not going down without a fight. <gasps> it's like you told Petra. Please be rational. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you have. A killer mansion. Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Down and mountains. Eaten by a living storm. Let's ask Pama something that doesn't make sense, like a uh, unsolvable problem. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just asked Pama something really confusing, get it all busy, busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox, a self contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Pama. What do you think would work on me? Uh. Nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Hey, Pama, what would you say if I told you it's weird to not be weird? But if it is weird to not be weird, then that means that being weird is normal. 
which by the transitive property means that it is normal not to be normal. It's working! Therefore, being normal is weird, which means that it is weird not to be weird. <laughs> this data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, uh -huh. It worked! Nice work, new guys, but I'd get out of there fast if I were you. I'm a quicker learner than you think. Paradox status. On roll. Yes, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two. Go away. I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. Stop calling me that. Come on, we need to follow her. An excellent idea. so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! <laughs> a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. Off the grid? Harper, in case you haven't noticed, there's no place to hide out here. Well, actually, there is. But I'm gonna need your help. What kind of help? I need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. Oh, it's just desert out here. I don't see any secret lab. Wouldn't be there a secret if you did see it, now would it? <laughs> just start walking that way and look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. like an exact copy or is it seems just a little off whatever this big difference you're trying to spot is please do it quickly because I think those monsters might be coming back if it huh that cactus isn't in the painting oh <gasps> to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water, we can aim for that. Ah! 
We have definitely landed on Palma's bad list, and I'm getting the impression that it's not the type to give up lightly. This kind of not giving up I can deal with. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes, their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Which might mean... Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. Ah! Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It's worked! That should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palmas completely ruined the word useful for me now. I'll go anywhere, do anything, and work with anyone, as long as it helps Petra and Lucas. You're a good friend, Jesse. I must say that woman has been the most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted. Her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. Uh, yeah. Happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. It's not my favorite. Don't worry, they can't get in. It'll be fine. Yeah, I also thought they couldn't make it down here and look how that worked out for us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Oh, yeah, I can see how that would make you paranoid. Yeah, just the risk that comes with setting up camp so close to where the portal network spits people out. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just, I can't believe it. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Barren, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. 
So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. And you just let Palma start shoving chips in people's heads? That's horrible. Let nothing. I did everything I could to try to convince Palma to stop, but it wouldn't listen. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. Okay, that's definitely scary, but we're not just gonna leave my friends chipped up though, right? We can still help them. I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're gonna need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See, I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. I don't know, I'm starting to think that you just like complicated machines. Watch yourself there, newbie. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh, no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time. And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. Get out of their heads, Palma. Your friends have been made useful. You too will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to- ah! There! Lucas, uh, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Jesse? Ooh. Harper, I'm oh. coming! Oh. Uh. No! Use the headset, Jesse! And don't forget the last cauldron! And one more thing! Get the roses to Harry! Harry? Come on! What are we going to do? Harper told me to remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick!
Harper and Lucas? Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange. Sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. Yes, what else can you remember? Sorry, I... I can't see it any clearer. It hurts too much to focus. Maybe it'll come back to me later. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people, and that will hopefully free Lucas too. Whoa. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Harper isn't crazy, she's just eccentric. Most geniuses are. True, very true. Let's cut her a break, okay? She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. They look so happy. A little weird. Oh, okay. Having the right item in the frame activates the circuit. Neat! Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. She read to keep busy. There's so much techno babble and numbers in here, I can barely tell if I'm holding it right side up or not. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or... <laughs> wow. So what do you think of Harper's Lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. Hey, Harper. It is wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Greater than all the world's redstone, you made all our lives better. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. We're still gonna save Lucas, don't you worry about that. I'll try not to. These might come in handy. Awesome! This is where she slept? Kind of a sad setup, huh? I can't help but feel bad for her. Good morning, Arbor. It is Harry. It is always so good to see you. You should not let yourself feel guilty. You have the best of intentions. You are like a flower. 
are in the desert and bring joy to those who have none. Okay. This must be Harry. Okay, making progress. One redstone torch. And hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. Harper's headset. Do we even know what this is supposed to do? I know you feel pretty confident that Harper's one of the good guys now, but I just want to make sure that putting on an electronic device built by the same person who built that monster machine is worth the risk. Whatever it does, we're going to use it to save Harper. And quickly, before Palma learns everything she knows. I'm 100% sure how, but we will. Woo! Go team! Here we go! Whoa! What's going on, Jesse? Is it working? I'm starting to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? Or more monsters? You're not gonna believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm controlling a zombie, like, from the inside. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. But this... This is just remarkable. I'm sure you'll figure it out, but my guess is it's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. Really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. Don't forget about Lucas, too. I need to try to save both of them. That's a great plan. I just hope they're not too far from your current location. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. A crafting table! I can make new stairs to get me up there. If I can find the right crafting materials, that is. Hmm, looks like slim pickings around here. Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. It looks exactly like all the other zombies. Any idea where the stairs went? Got to build some new stairs to get up there fast. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Sand stuff gets everywhere. Huh, let's see what I can craft. Sweet! Enough of these? and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down, too.
These should do the trick. Sorry to craft and run, but I'm afraid I need to be going. Ivor, the signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! I will create an exit portal. After that, everything will be useful. Please don't fret. Everything will be fine. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let my go! My team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Yeah. I'm a skeleton now. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse, what are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Pama's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Oh, sorry, buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper! Harper? Please! You are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Pama. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Your game is over, Palma. No. Time to move. this comma. So if you want to know what's inside my head, you're going to have to take it. I'm here to rescue you, Harper. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Trace subroutine running. Let's move. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! 
You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Central War. Jesse, you and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'm so tired of being dragged away while trying to explain things! Don't worry, I won't let you down. I promise! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is done, Jesse. I think we can make that pen set useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. We can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Harper believes in us, and we're her last hope. We're everyone's last hope to stop Palma. Harper wouldn't put her trust in us unless she knew what we were capable of. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, I just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them. Redstone spires, and, and I think... They have something to do with the heart. That's... that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires? Or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma's stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. side of all these bombs. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of invisibility. And a potion of leaping. These might come in handy. When is TNT not useful? Cool. Buttons can activate TNT, but I still need some way to connect them together. We've got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom! Path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities are endless. Well, not endless. I'll take invisibility. I didn't see that coming. With this, I'll be able to sneak around and set up all the TNT and redstone without Palma seeing me at all. 
Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff. I'm invisible. <laughs> Still audible. Is that you, Jesse? Because this won't work. My forces will protect the exit portal. Oh no. My fans have almost finished building our new exit portal. And then I will make all other worlds useful. Yay! You cannot defeat me. Your defiance is not useful. Clearing a path, huh? It's very nice, Jesse. Uh, low key. Hey, Jesse. Nice work. The townspeople are already building the exit portal. We've got to shut down Palma before it can send its ship forces through it. I will find you, Jesse. I have lots of friends. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll hold them off. Go finish this and save Lucas.
You merely delay the inevitable. You so sure about that, Ama? You're not feeling so confident about yourself now, are you, Palma? Your defeat remains inevitable. I only had a piece of iron for every time I've heard that before. You will relinquish your water. Harper. Your attempts to defeat me have been impressive, Jesse. Your tenacity and spirit will help to improve me once you have been made useful. can't use my last water bucket on Harper while there's still one tower left. This is getting sad. <laughs> the odds of you successfully defeating me are 3,720 yeah. to 1. Never tell me the odds. That's true. Jesse, behind you! Ouchie, detective. Reservation protocol initiated. What's happening? You shorted out the processing towers. Mama was drawing the redstone heart to save itself. Get to the redstone heart and rip it out before it's too late. You bet I will. We've got company. I think this would be easy. Your friends are tough. You sure you can handle them? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail, just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to need your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me, and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your home world will soon be made useful. Drawing it out like this won't hurt me, but it might hurt your friend. You can't force me to hurt Lucas. Good. That will make this go much faster. Okay, Lucas, come on. Let's see what you Careful, got. Careful, Jesse. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> you cannot win. Honestly, think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. Enough of this. Activate 
with me. I know I've made some very poor decisions recently, but I can show you so much. I can help you get home to your friends. I can be useful to you. Jesse. Sorry, Tama. You're useless. have severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now, because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. He's okay. Ow! Just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I am so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. I, I tried to fight back, but I... I couldn't. Hey, apology's not necessary, okay? That was Pama, not you. I'm sorry about knocking you around, though. I don't know. I kind of remember it the other way around, actually. Bygones, right? It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous, too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. Yes, it's obviously dangerous. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the Redstone Heart is empowering Pama, can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster, the better. How is this going to do that? When we head to the portal hallway, I'll show you exactly how. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. who saved us. Who are you? You fought so bravely. All of you. You guys are awesome! Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone. Boom! We walk the world, seeking adventure and doing good deeds. Wow. Well, thank you. We owe you everything. You're right. Jesse and the Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um, yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that... Our home's destroyed. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Pama, too. We couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> so what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No. I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. 
How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah, she will? Yeah, right, Harper? Yes, yes, I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back, help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Goodbye. Thank. See you soon, Harper. See you soon. You know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Yeah, it's pretty weird. This place makes my skin feel all prickly. Well, I'm just excited that we're going home. That's what I'm trying to focus on. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Uh... Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. You're not keeping secrets from us again, are you, Harper? No, 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 I, I promise. I just didn't think to mention it before. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny, whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs.